forgiveness of sins. Become innocent before God. God, be merciful to me, a sinner. Fasting, pilgrimage, sacrifice, alms, confession, flagellation, recitations, restitution, money, denial, all human beings become aware of their own evil, having committed deeds that they know were wrong. All have sinned. Sins are all those wrong deeds that trouble one's conscience, especially those that violate divine moral standards. Sin is lawlessness. Our sins displease God. Your iniquities have made a separation between you and your God, and your sins have hidden his face from you, so that he does not hear. God could judge us for our sins. God shows no partiality. For all who have sinned without the law will also perish without the law, and all who have sinned under the law will be judged by the law. The wages of sin is death. However, God wants to forgive us of our sins. You are a God ready to forgive, gracious and merciful, slow to anger and abounding in steadfast love. In ancient times, God allowed humans to make a sacrifice for sins. The priest shall make atonement for him for the sin which he has committed, and he shall be forgiven. The ancient prophets foresaw that a man would one day die as a sacrifice. Smitten by God, and afflicted, he was pierced for our transgressions, he was crushed for our iniquities, upon him was the chastisement that brought us peace, and with his wounds we are healed. Later, God sent Jesus into the world to die as the sacrifice for our sins. Christ died for our sins in accordance with the Scriptures. He was buried, He was raised on the third day. He appeared. Jesus taught humans to pray, Father in heaven, forgive us our debts, as we also have forgiven our debtors. Raised to life, Jesus ordered that repentance for the forgiveness of sins should be proclaimed in His name to all nations. From that day Jesus' followers said, Jesus commanded us to preach to the people and to testify that he is the one appointed by God to be judge of the living and the dead. To him all the prophets bear witness that everyone who believes in him receives forgiveness of sins through his name. Therefore we must confess our sins to God. If we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Then, when you are ready, repent and be baptized every one of you in the name of Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of your sins, and you will receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. Thenceforth, blessed is the one whose transgression is forgiven, whose sin is covered. Blessed is the man against whom the Lord counts no iniquity. Therefore, as the Lord has forgiven you, so you also must forgive.